It is going to be minus 12 tonight. So can I do this with no heat? I guess we'll see. Hi, my name is Jordan, and thanks for following along on my adventure traveling across all of Canada and hopefully beyond in my van, dancing, acting, but most importantly, exploring in the most minimalistic way possible, living inside my 2009 Dodge Caravan. Whew. Good morning, you guys. It was very cold last night. You know it was cold when your water looks like this in the morning. Good thing I didn't freeze to death, though. So I was so excited to get this guitar air freshener. For one, it doesn't have a very strong smell to it, like I was hoping for an air freshener. But for two, it doesn't even tell you what the scent was until you get it. It smells exactly like my old Spice Body Wash. Me, man. Me like one smell. <laughs> All right, you guys. Again, it feels kind of crazy late, but it is just approaching 7.30 here. I am still in Oshawa, Ontario, just on another side of Oshawa to visit my Sparky twin. Uh, we've always called each other twins since we met because we're just so like. We hung out for the most of the day, I would say the entire afternoon. I just had dinner at her house and um, hung out with her and her husband for a bit. And now I am at the Planet Fitness in Oshawa. And this is the first one that I have come by so far with no threatening signs in the parking lot since, well, not just Planet Fitness, but this is the first parking lot I've found so far since leaving Belleville where there was no signs everywhere that were like no overnight parking. Here, there is no signs anywhere in this parking lot that I can see that say anything about how long you're allowed to park here or who is allowed to park here or if you're allowed to camp overnight. If you're looking for a spot just along a Planet Fitness, I would personally recommend this place. It is the Oshawa location and it is on, this one is just off of Simcoe Street on Albert and First. If you guys are going to be traveling through Oshawa or the GTA and you're looking for somewhere to park overnight, I will let you know if we get the knock, but this looks like a good location to stay. So this has definitely been the sketchiest night of van life so far. I had a dude come up to my vehicle, knock on the window and try and get me to open it up while I'm sitting here working on my laptop with my phone out. And then he went to every other vehicle and then before this dude is going around checking all of the vehicles in the parking lot and seeing if he can get into them. And this tow truck has been here. This is the third time this tow truck has showed up to this parking lot. I have personally been here for several hours and this tow truck just keeps coming back here and parking for long periods of time. One time a pickup, another pickup truck came and met them, but I'm like, the last time nobody met up with them. I'm like, are you doing a drug deal? Like, I'm so confused. So I got the knock for the first time last night. I was at that sketchy Planet Fitness where there was no sign saying you couldn't park but there were so many sketchy people in the parking lot both in vehicles and like doing sketchy things and people knocking on the windows and everything that I was like I need to get out of here so I went to the Walmart after I went for a shower and stuff and I was there for maybe five minutes just climbed into bed put on all of my window protectors when I got the knock from security being like um you can't sleep here and I was like okay but I was just like okay and I started up my vehicle and left drove to the Whitby Walmart where the parking lot looked like there was security patrolling the parking lot as well but i was like it's four in the morning at this point i need to park somewhere and if they come knock whatever but saw so many police on the way here they always circle around my vehicle because i don't have a front plate because i'm from alberta and in ontario you have a front and back plate so my vehicle is always sketched to them um but then i get to this parking lot climb into bed and i didn't get a knock so i was able to sleep it snowed in the middle of the night, so there's snow all over my windshield and windows. But that's actually how I prefer it. I feel like it gives me an extra added layer of privacy because you can't see if there's fog on the windows and you can't see in the windows. Plus, it I think maybe adds a little bit of extra insulation. I am cozy AF.
So, I feel like there's not enough talk about carbon monoxide poisoning when it comes to vehicles, especially when it comes to running your vehicle and being in your vehicle but not being in a confined space. Like, people refer to carbon monoxide poisoning in situations like being in a garage that's enclosed with your vehicle running. It's super dangerous, don't do that. But, this dude in the SUV right here has his bumper backed right into the snowbank. If he was sitting there running that vehicle, that would be deadly. I don't know how long that would take, but the thing is with carbon monoxide is you can't smell it. So if I see this dude start up his vehicle and just be chilling there, I should probably go say something. <laughs>